Though separated from our own time by two centuries, the society in which the Bob appeared resembles the present day world for the sense of oppression and for the longing of so many to find answers to slake the soul's thirst to know. 1848 is known as the Year of Revolutions. During that year, popular uprisings broke out all over the world. Ireland was no exception with the Young Islanders' Rebellion of July 1848. The remarkable thing about these uprisings was that most were not about regime change, but instead were calling for justice, equality and human rights. Of all the revolutions of 1848, there are two that are often overlooked though in fact they were among the most ambitious and far-reaching because they called for justice for the largest oppressed group of all, women. In July 1848, as the Bob, a well-known champion of the rights of women, was being tortured in Iran, in Seneca Falls in New York State, a couple of hundred women and a smaller number of men met to discuss women's rights. 68 women and 32 men voted on what they called the Declaration of Sentiments, advocating equal treatment of women. There was nervousness at the convention about the idea that women should be allowed to vote, but the words of freed slave and abolitionist Frederick Douglass won the day. In this denial of the right to participate in government, not merely the degradation of women, and the perpetuation of a great injustice happens, but the maiming and repudiation of one half of the moral and intellectual power of the government of the world. Meanwhile, during the same month as this small group of courageous people in America were calling for the recognition of the equality of women and men, this was also happening at a Babi gathering in Persia, the Conference of Badasht. Here, one lone woman named Tahara entered a group of 80 men and swept away the conventions of the past by calmly speaking in public without wearing her veil. This simple act caused consternation even amongst the group of Babis in attendance, but she was supported by both the Bab and Baha'u'llah. Tahara's courageous actions left no doubt that this new revelation, which was fundamentally about the oneness of humanity, necessarily included the hitherto excluded half of the human race, women. The Seneca Falls women were reviled for their actions, and Tahara was later executed for her beliefs. And unfortunately, in some parts of the world, it still takes great courage to stand up for the rights of women. But those brave souls in 1848 planted a seed that has gradually taken root all over the world. Though it has yet to come to complete fruition, the idea that the equality of women and men has proven to be one of the most revolutionary of all the ideas of 1848. As Tahara is reputed to have said before she was strangled, you can kill me as soon as you like, but you will not stop the emancipation of women.